I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we are going to discuss few questions based on scientific notation. It is a very important topic for all students, especially elementary education. Here are a few questions for you which we are going to answer. You can see the five questions here. You need to write the following numbers using scientific notation. Scientific notation, as you know, is written as a times 10 to the power of n, where a is a number which is greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10. That means it could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9. And after that, we write 10 to the power of n, where n is an integer. Means it could be a negative or a positive number. So here are five questions for you. Once you do them, then we have a set of another five questions. Now in this particular case, you may have to evaluate and then write the answer using scientific notation. I hope that makes sense. So you will also understand. When we get a very large number or a very small number, how convenient it is to write in scientific notation. We'll see their solutions, but now let's look into the questions first. And then here we have two very interesting questions. If 1.23 times 10 to the power of 10 is written in standard form, now in standard form we mean expanded, right? So, 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, and so on. How many zeros will follow the number 3? That's the question for you. Question number 12 is that if 1.23 into 10 to the power of minus 10 is written in the standard form, how many zeros will be there between the decimal point and the first significant figure? extremely important questions. Now, why are we doing all this? Our objective here is straightforward. We are looking to help curious students who want to understand and visualize concepts that can be applied in different contexts, provide sound foundation and prepare them for a very bright future. I am glad to announce here that my students actually get highest marks in their class and are given very good awards. Recently, a student got Shulek Leadership Award, for example. Here is a small clip. The winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulek Leader Award is Akshi Kandivani. <laughs> Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there, join our summer classes and get ready for bright future. Now we also support teachers to share their knowledge and skills effectively meet students' requirements and also prepare for certification to become qualified educators. So we are interested in both learners and the teachers. Now let's look into how do we solve these questions in the simplest possible way, right? There are many ways to answer. Of course, there's one right answer here. But how do we get that right answer? So the very first question here is, write the following numbers in scientific notation. Scientific notation, as you understand, is written in the form a times 10 to the power of n. So means we'll only take the first digit in case of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's rewrite the number. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is the number. But we want to put a decimal immediately after 1. Well, if you do that, you have reduced the number 
right? You are writing one point. So it should be times 10 to the power of something. And what is that something? That something should bring this decimal back to its position, which is right there at the end of 5, correct? So which is 1020340. So we'll write 4 here. You get the idea. So, so the number here is equal to 1.2345 times 10 to the power of 4. Does it make sense to you, right? So, you can also check the result. Now, if it is 10 to the power of 4, means multiplied by 10,000, this decimal will definitely move right and will give you the required number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is that clear to you? Perfect. Now, let's do the second example. Let me use a different ink. 5, 0, 0, 0, 0, 50,000. We want to write this as 5 point. There is no need to write so many zeros. We can write 5.0 times 10 to the power of. Now, how many zeros did we cut off? 1, 2, 3, 4, correct? So, to the power of 4. Does it make sense to you? Well, a similar example as question 1. But now, question number 3, we just have a number 9. Strictly speaking, the number 9 is itself in scientific notation. You can see this as 9.0 into 10 to the power of what? Well, if I write 1, it will be 10 means 90. That doesn't work. But remember, 10 to the power of 0. Anything to the power of 0 is actually equal to 1. So wherever you have to multiply by 1, you could use something to the power of 0. Important, right? The next number here is 0 0.02. 3, 4, 5. Of course, to write it in scientific notation, we could write this as 2.345. Correct? Since we have to write the first number A, which has to be between 1 and 10, 1 included, 10 not included, so our decimal will move two positions to the right. Right? Since we wrote a much bigger number, these two positions we have to do minus 2. You get the idea. So, that is where the negative exponents will come. An integer with a negative sign. 10 to the power of minus 2 means 100th divided by 100. Correct? So, if you divide this number by 100, you will get what it was. The last question here on this page is 0 0.000001. Of course, I am going to write this as equals to 1.0 into 10 to the power of, it is a very small number, minus. How many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So, minus 6. It is 1 millionth. You see that? 1 millionth. And it will be written as 1.0 into 10 to the power of minus 6. Does it make sense to you? Well, apply this strategy and then do question number 6 to 10. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Also, check our website for some offers. Let's continue. Here we have 365 into 100. We could write this as 365 and two zeros. Okay. So, 3.65 into 10 to the power of what? So, let's see how many zeros. So, after 3, we are now looking for a position. We move this decimal. 1, 2, 3, 4. You get the idea? So, to the power of 4, that gives you the answer. Well, 2 here and 2 there means 4. You get the idea, right? Next one here is 0 0.03 square. What is point zero 0.03 square? Point zero 0.03 times point zero 0.03 is actually 3 times 3 is 9. However, you should have 4 decimal places. So, the number actually is this much. You get the idea. Point zero 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 0.0009. So, I'll write this as 9.0 into 10 to the power of very small number. And therefore, I'm going to write negative here 
and how many positions for this particular zero I am moving. I am moving it after 9. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So, minus 4. You get the idea. That is how you are going to write down the answer. Now, the next one here is 0 0.002 divided by means 10 to the power of minus 2. Now, here already we are moving this to 1, 2, 3 positions. So, I could write this as 2.0 into 10 to the power of minus 5, 3 and 2, 5. You get the idea. So, try to figure this out. Does it make sense to you? If yes, then you have understood the whole process. Now, let us look into this number. 37 trillion. What is a trillion? Trillion is 10 to the power of, see, 1000. 1000, 1000 is million and then another 1000 is billion and then trillion means 10 to the power of 12. So, this is actually 37 into 10 to the power of 12. When we write this in scientific notation, we will have to write 3.7 into 10 to the power of 13. You get the idea, right? So, it is 3.7 into 10 to the power of 13. The next number here is 6023 into 10 to the power of 20. It's the Avogadro's number, very important. So, 20 are already there and 3 from here. We could write this as 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23. So, once you understand how do we write these numbers in scientific notation, it should be as simple as now I am doing. I hope you get it, right? Okay. Here are a few challenge questions for you. Question number 11. Let me remove this highlight. I like you to read this and understand. If 1.23 into 10 to the power of 10 is written in standard form, means 1, 2, 3, and then 10 zeros, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many zeros will follow 3? So, it says, how many zeros will follow 3? Well, what I wrote is wrong. Can you tell me why it is wrong? Well, when I do 10 to the power of 10, two zeros means 100 will be taking care of 123. Do you see that? And so, we are left with only 8 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You get the idea? So, this number actually is 123 and 8 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And therefore, when we say how many zeros will follow 23, the answer is 8 zeros. You get the idea? Because two of them were required to move the decimal to cover up for 23. Hundredth. You get the idea. That is why this is a very interesting question. Now, let us look into the last question, which is 1.23 into 10 to the power of minus 10. It is written in standard form. How many zeros will there be between the decimal point and the first significant figure, which is 1? You see that? So, minus means you are moving it to the left. So, 1 zero will be occupied. And then there will be nine other places. You get the idea, right? So, so because it is minus 10, so think like this. We have 1, 2, 3, right? And then that takes care of divided by 10. And then we have 1, 9, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then a decimal. So, in this case, the answer is going to be 9 zeros between decimal and 1. Perfect. That is how you are going to answer these questions. So, so I hope that really helps. Feel free to write comments and share your views. And in case you really want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for your time and all the best. We regularly register students for our courses. This summer, we have a very special program. 
You can send an email on the address highlighted and join the program of your interest. That will help you to perform much, much better in the coming semester. Register by sending the email as the seats are limited. Join Anil Kumar classes and get ready for a bright future. Thank you.